so here's Cubic SDR. I have this connected to uh, this little guy here, this RTO SDR, and that's going to my amateur radio antenna. I'm using this old uh, antenna tuner as a front end for it, and I have it on 40 meters here. And the antenna goes out the window, and it's an 80-foot end-fed wire. Anyway, I'm impressed with how well this thing works for receiving on amateur radio. So I can select the uh, RTO right here, make sure this direct sampling is on QADC for uh, low frequencies, and then you should be good to go. So we can start this now. And I think I'll click right here. And unfortunately, I'm not going out my speakers here. Let me change the audio here a bit. I'm on the Mac. So internal speakers. Now this thing won't switch automatically, so I have to restart the application. So turn it off. Back on. There it goes. Make sure the QADC is working. And start. And click. So now go to say um, lower sideband. And now you can go through and look at the band. And I'll just basically click here and scan through by using the mouse and using the wheel on the mouse to change frequencies. And look for activity. Those guys are always on there. What's cool about this though is you can change the uh, bandwidth here. So, if people are running high fidelity SSB, you'll hear it. of a brick that's pretty ballsy I, I don't imagine it goes you would you drive that over no I wasn't talking about mileage I'm talking about just um, the, the between the track It's a benefit from a tuning interface. It's very hard to tune it. I want to show how good the audio is. How it decodes SSD so well. I would blow it. I wouldn't ingest it, so I'd be blowing it and blowing it away from my face. So go ahead. Yeah, this guy has wide SSB. It's almost high fidelity. Oh, 
you know, I have no idea, but seriously, though, uh, He's you know, it, it's a, uh, pretty wild. a drug, and uh, there are folks that are helped by it, so I'm happy for them, but I, I don't smoke. I don't smoke because I'm not a lawyer. And Don is, but he's a $5 lawyer, so I don't know, Don, if you smoke anything worthwhile uh, over. I think it's like five cases wide. It's pretty cool. The lawyers in California do. They're on the news tonight. California said, what, they had to be all electric cars by 2035? <laughs> So there's a shortwave station, go to AM for that. It's probably Chinese. Hard to say. Let's keep looking around for things to listen to. This is. Time I got an orchestra exit. <laughs> I know that you to happen to me. I lived in Texas for a while and I started talking like this all the time. Arizona is kind of like the same way. You got an accent out there too. So, um, you know, anyhow, I have an accent all over the place at times. But it's. Uh, it's fun. Yeah, I, lo I love accents. So he's great. about. It makes the it makes the whole world turn around there. And, uh, he's about four cases uh, you know, wide. It makes you appreciate uh, about people uh, all over the place. Uh, their uh, uh, their uh, Jerry. Yeah, I know, but what the heck? Anyway, I've been out here in this communist state since I was 14, and I, that's let me say I'm 76. So that's what 62 years now. I don't care how I sound. I mean, I'm happy with it. <laughs> the, uh, probably a uh, very common uh, situation where people are trying to power up these things without that uh, antenna tuner. I would say probably the vast majority are without them. So, uh, you know, it could be something as simple as a jumper on that big uh, multi pit wheel there. Yeah, absolutely. And there is a kind of a, a little internal dip switches. So that's that's really clear stuff. I mean, that's that's a lot better. That receives a lot better than this uh, radio, which cost about two thousand dollars in nineteen ninety five or the year two thousand. So that's really impressive. A thirty five dollar device can receive that well on a PC. So with that said, let's try eighty meters and see what that does. There's eighty meters right there, and we'll take this thing down to eighty here. There's 80 meters, and we'll take that down. Can we hear anybody? Oh, there's somebody right there. I hear him or see him. on 3870, but they're not here. 3870, no. Yeah, maybe they are. There's somebody there. Well, it knows, you know, the cooling capacity and, and what those what those LD MOS transistors will take. And, uh, How about 3870? Thirty-eight seventy of the guys. Tune 
is quite slow. Okay, there's 3870 right there. I don't hear him on here. Anyway, there you go. That's my experiment. Um, could also probably get WWV on here at 5 megahertz. Let's try that out. Works out quite well. Let's go to 10. There it is on 10. Of course, I want to change this here to something close to 10. There we go. Works pretty good. 15. I wonder if it's AM or something coming through. That sounds like AM that's breathing through. Yeah, so I have AM stations close to me. So this thing needs a front end, but it does work. Oh, I'm, I'm on AM band now. That's why. That's wild. Okay. Like I said, this thing's a little hard to tune. Okay, there's 15 megahertz. Anyway, this works pretty darn good. It's surprising. Let's see what else we can find on here. I can't help but think it's picking up AM stations from it. The area here. Well, anyway, that's my demo of uh, Cubic SDR on ham radio, picking up from uh, 40 meters and 20 meters. I hope you enjoyed it. 30 bucks in an antenna, you'll have a uh, receiving radio for him and other SWL. So the Entry point <clears throat> financially now to get into a good receiver is probably for the antenna and the little dongle is about a hundred bucks. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Yeah, the antenna would be probably to buy a uh, Unum from Palomar Engineers or somewhat a matching device for your antenna would be probably, I don't know, 50 bucks, 40 bucks. The antenna wire might be 20 bucks. Insulators might be 10 bucks. And then the little um, dongle I have, the RTL. Dongle, I think these are these were 30 bucks two years ago on uh, 
Amazon. I'm not sure what they are now. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.